Now we are doing exercise 6.2, question number 14. Question number 14, let me write down the question. So here is our question. Question says, if an AP, in an AP, if the sum of first m term is equal to n. So here, what is given? Given is given that what is given sum of first m term is n sum of first m term is equal to n okay and what is another thing that is given n that of first n term is equal to m so first let me sort out this one so sm i can write down as m right so m divided by 2 formula 2a plus m minus 1 m minus 1 d is equal to n okay what, what shall I do now? I can name this as equation number one. Okay, fine, or I can, or, or now I can, let me transfer everything that said, let me keep 2a plus m minus one d is equal to two m by two, two will go and multiply up here and m will go and divide down here. So it will be two into n divided by m. Okay, so name, let me name this equation as equation number two, okay. And what is another thing given also n that of first n term is equal to m so sum of first n term is equal to m so i can write down sn sn is n divided by 2 2a plus n minus 1 d is equal to m okay now what what can i do here so 2a plus n minus 1 d let me write down like that so 2a plus n minus 1 d is equal to now i'm i have written down this one portion this portion i have written down this one will transfer this side so 2 will go and multiply to m and n will go and divide so it will be 2m divided by n i can name i can but let me not rename this one let me write down this one as equation number one and this is equation number two okay fine anything you can do now you can see 2a is here and 2a is here so i can subtract equation number one and two and remove this one so subtracting equation number two from one we have so from equation number one you subtract equation number two so let me write down equation number one that is 2a plus 2a plus m minus 1 d is equal to 2n divided by m i hope i'm correct 2a plus m minus 1 d is equal to 2n by m 2n by m yes and second equation let me write down here 2a plus n minus 1 d is equal to 2m divided by n i'm going to subtract one from another so I need to subtract, so I need to change the sign. Plus sign will become minus. Here is plus, so this will become minus. And here is plus, it will become minus. 2a minus 2a, these two will cancel, right? m minus 1d minus n minus 1d. So I can add on m into d. So it is it is md minus, or I can add down like this also. m minus 1, let me write on directly, minus n minus 1d. Okay, I haven't done anything. I'm just writing down m minus 1d and n minus 1d as it is. Next, 2n by m. 2n by m minus 2m by n. 2m by n. Right? Now, from this two, take d common. So, it will be m minus 1 minus n minus into minus it is plus 1 and d is taken out common and from these two you can take two common or anything you can do it's like you multiply m and n right multiplying these two and writing down denominator now you multiply by n to this one it will be two take common and no no wait wait m n into n it will be two n square minus m into this one so it will be two m square fine now 1 and 1 cancel plus 1 and minus 1 m minus n so d m minus n 
is equal to u take 2 common if you take 2 common it will be n square minus m square right so n square minus m square divided by mn which you can write down as 2 n square minus m square you can write down as n minus m n n plus m divided by 2 divided by mn okay now d is equal to d is equal to now you transfer this one and divide this side so 2 n minus m into n plus m divided by mn and if you take this one and divide here this one will become m minus n here so m minus n this is n minus m this is m minus n so if you take minus out common right minus we are taking out common so if you take minus common then minus will become plus that is m will become plus and this is plus so it will become minus so m minus n into n plus m divided by m minus n into mn so m minus n and m minus n good so now minus 2 n plus m or i can write on m plus n same thing so i can write on m plus n divided by mn so this is the value of d let me write down as equation number three okay now we got the value of d now what the question says prove that the sum of first m plus n term is minus m plus n so now let us find out sum of m plus n so the formula will be m plus n divided by 2 2 a plus m plus n minus 1 d what we are finding is m plus n sum of m plus n so i can write on m plus n divided by 2 2a right plus m into d md okay i can let me write down differently let me write down m d differently so let me write down here okay m into d it is md and n minus 1 d let me write down here n minus 1 d okay what have i done md i have written down here and n minus 1 d i am writing down here why you'll see now m plus n divided by 2 2a plus n minus 1 d you have seen this equation where is that 2a plus n minus 1 d 2a plus equation number 2 2a plus n minus 1 d is 2m by n so instead of 2a plus n minus 1 d i can write down 2m by n plus m d right and another thing instead of d i can write down the value of d as this one so m into minus 2 m plus n divided by mn right and for how i got 2a plus n minus 1 d this one okay i got from equation number 2 and this from equation number 3 so from equation number 1 and 2 from equation number 2 and 3 yeah 2 and 3 now m plus n divided by 2 2 m divided by n plus plus into minus minus m 2 m into m it is m square plus into minus it is minus and m 2 into m into n it will be 2 m n divided by mn right now let me take this equation which is equal to m plus n divided by 2 open the bracket now let me take this two as denominator so denominator lcm will be mn now n is here you can see n is here m is lagging right so multiply by m to this one so it will be 2m square 2m square minus here there is mn so copy down as it is 2m square minus 2mn 2m square minus 2mn okay now m plus n divided by 2 
2m square 2m square cancel minus 2mn minus 2mn divided by mn and mn mn cancel 2 and 2 also cancel so minus is there so it is minus 1 so minus 1 into minus 1 into m minus n it will be minus into m minus m minus n which you can write down as take minus common or do anything or you can take like this also so minus this minus you take out and m plus n okay so which is the equation that they are asking to prove, proof right hence proof or we can say therefore summation of m plus n is equal to minus m plus n and hence proof that's all i hope the answer is correct and accurate that's all thank you so much we will meet in the next video